Here we see the external view of a medium-sized intracranial sidewall aneurysm. Cross-section of the aneurysm demonstrates the difference between normal arterial wall and the aneurysm sac. In neuroaneurysms, the internal elastic lamina is typically absent and the media has been weakened or disrupted. Coil delivery and detachment. A guide wire is introduced into the artery. The guide wire enters the aneurysm. Next, we see a shaped Boston Scientific Target two-tip microcatheter delivered into the aneurysm over the guide wire. The guide wire is retracted and the microcatheter is optimally positioned for deployment of the first matrix 3D coil. The first matrix 3D shaped coil is placed into the aneurysm through the microcatheter. The matrix 3D coil deploys into a complex basket as the alternating small and large omega shaped loops are delivered into the aneurysm. Next, we see the detachment zone dissolve as a result of the patented motion-free electrolytic detachment process. Please note that no mechanical movement is required to detach the matrix coils. The pusher is then retracted from the microcatheter. The matrix detachable coil deployment continues in the aneurysm. Aneurysm occlusion. All of the matrix coils have now been deployed into the aneurysm and the microcatheter is then withdrawn. Optimal aneurysm packing allows for blood stagnation and thrombus formation to occur. Thrombus formation. Disruption and stagnation of blood flow by the matrix coil mass triggers intraaneurysmal thrombus formation. Within a few weeks, the copolymer coating of the matrix detachable coils undergoes a process of hydrolytic breakdown or hydrolysis. Hydrolysis continues until the copolymer is completely absorbed by the body within approximately three months. Endothelial coverage of the aneurysm neck. After stasis and subsequent thrombus formation occurs in the aneurysm, endothelial cells originating from the parent artery migrate over the surface of the thrombus, thereby covering the aneurysm neck. Thrombus organization. Leukocytes trapped within the thrombus begin to ingest platelets, red blood cells, and fibrin through the process of phagocytosis. Leukocytes continue to infiltrate aneurysmal thrombus, and the thrombus is replaced by myofibroblasts, consisting primarily of smooth muscle cells. The smooth muscle cells in the aneurysm begin to secrete collagen. Smooth muscle cells within a collagen network compose fibrocellular tissue. This conversion of thrombus into fibrocellular tissue is termed thrombus organization. Ultimately, through thrombus organization, the aneurysm sac is completely filled with fibrocellular tissue. This fibrocellular tissue may ultimately promote stability of the aneurysm sac. From the macro level, the fibrocellular tissue underlying the endothelial layer stabilizes the neck region of the aneurysm. Neck stabilization may be one of the factors to minimize aneurysm recurrence. As copolymer absorption proceeds, the fibrocellular tissue continues to fill and mature within the aneurysm sac. As seen in the experimental aneurysms in the GLP study, after 14 days, matrix coils demonstrated a significantly thicker neck tissue and significantly more fibrocellular tissue within the aneurysm. In comparison to bare platinum coils, matrix coils accelerated removal of aneurysmal thrombus and its replacement with fibrocellular tissue. This acceleration is critical as device compaction and or aneurysm regrowth often occurs within the first few months. Reduction in aneurysm cross-sectional areas. In the GLP study, the matrix coiled aneurysms were reduced in cross-sectional area by approximately 20%. After six months, the aneurysms were reduced in size by an average of 40%, calculated through histological measurements of cross-sectional area. This size reduction possibly occurred for two reasons. 
scar tissue retraction, and or the fact that the matrix copolymer, comprising 70% of the matrix coil volume, is absorbed over the first three months.